Like so far, I guess we two leave enough time for me to prepare all the remove curses. <laughs> nice. What does everyone else want to do with these extra days to scrub yourselves off? Um, we did go down to a sewer. Yeah, there is a lot of cleaning. <laughs> Cleaning and scrubbing to do. Hmm. All right. A lot of cleaning, a lot of scrubbing. All right. Let's say that a couple of days later, you've all done all the things you wanted to do in your little dying time. Don't worry about it. It's all, it's all been uh, rubbed over. Rub a dub dub. By the end of those days, however, as you wake up in a fresh morning, thinking about what you might do that day, as you've got a fancy sword. For killing kings from a lich who was very angry and a paladin who was very stupid. Incredibly. Mm. To be mm. fair, he probably was used to fighting with parties that weren't like Level Baby. <laughs> Wherever they all ended up and how much blame he may or may not carry. As you wake up on this fine morning, the first thing you notice is that there's a lot of reveling and panicking in the streets. Well, panicking isn't safe. Just a noise in the streets. Like, you wake up to the sound of people going, Ah! <laughs> Guards <clears throat> making demands. The sound of wetness. Of spears sliding into flesh. There seems to be a fight outside your door. Your window. Alright. I start dressing in my armor. Clunk, clunk. Boy, yeah, that's going to take a minute. It is going to take a hot minute. All right. Uh, what is yes, everyone I'm else going to that? look out of the window, because can I do it? You look out of the window and see a rather sizable contingent of soldiers running by doors, knocking on them, uh, taking out anyone who looks able-bodied, and then just kind of forcing them along. Hmm. Galter is familiar with this premise. Yeah. Force conscription. Yep. Must be something fun happening then. I mean, if you listen closely, you can hear the guards loudly declare that the time has come to die for your king and country. Uh huh. Close. Who and who were those in this region? Uh, the orcs, still... like all the way over there. Like it to still be the king of last. Yep. The one at Vigil. The king of Vigil. Ah, he's still in. Still in his domain. Last one. Right. Mm. Well. So we still have the Wand of Invisibility Sphere, which we could technically probably use to wait out when they come for this place. Mm -hmm. Or we could cause some havoc or escape some other way. What do you all want? Judging by the looks and sounds of it, starting any fight is going to get you involved with too many people. Well... Hmm. <laughs> I think my arm would get tired from... Hacking through that many people. Yeah, and they might actually have competent reserves in the back. <clears throat> Maybe invisibility is a better call today. Griff, so where are we staying have? exactly? That's up to you. Griff. Griff. Yes. Are you alive? Kinda. Do you have anything to add to the situation? Uh, not really. <laughs> Do you need to take a nap? Maybe. Well, this is just great. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Alright. So, you want to use your invisibility one, was it? Yeah, I guess. Where do you want to go? I mean, not Good question. Do we want to try to see the Rat King to hear what's up? 
or do we want to just skip town? Mm. It could, would be useful to have would be useful to have more information. Yeah. Maybe the, maybe the king is leading an army. That's... Yeah. an ambush going or just find out what generally what is happening now yeah since Galter is familiar with the concept of force conscription he knows that they're getting out of town will be a problem since it'd be kind of a shitty force conscription if people could just leave mm, fair point. Fair point. stick around you'll be conscripted just walk out the gate and you'll be just fine come on through come on through <laughs> and it's all the people go yeah, this is the guy at the gates like, I don't know, but the gates are open. Come on through. Well, at least we know one place where they probably won't go. The Maybe there's some sewer tunnel escape route. Yeah. Go back to the curse curse. Yeah, yours. we could just hide out in the freaking itch. No. Well, Look, no. not through that section of the sewers. <laughs> I was just saying. They wouldn't look look past there. <laughs> the only thing to find there are corpses and skeletons. Hmm. They were, okay. they were too bad company. That's Who says they're looking for us? They might be just looking for anyone. Able bodies. They... And you're definitely able bodied. <clears throat> yeah. And also wanted. Yeah. And I don't think these so guys can, would respect. So you can earn a posthumous pardon by dying for king and country. It all works out. <laughs> Why don't you see this as the best solution to this problem? You'll be free because you're dead. You won't be a criminal because you're dead. And you'll be forgiven. So you're not a criminal even if you weren't dead. So, maybe in our time. Medieval justice is great. It works. So we enforce somebody. Yes. By the way, I assume you're staying in the inn because that's the logical thing you would do in a place that you have temporary housing. Yeah. At which point you would probably start to hear like guards downstairs asking questions of the barkeep and presumably also conscripting the barkeep. <laughs> hmm. Wow. They are loudly shouting on how everyone must contribute. So, yeah, invisibility. I mean, if the barkeep says we are here, I guess I'm going to send like. Wow. <laughs> say that we are here but if we are not here then we must have go, gone elsewhere yeah you know morning jog hmm. starting out the window so that the barkeep wouldn't have seen you yep <laughs> ah, already left. he's get, getting the, getting those arm reps up nice and early All right, so you're invisible and you're going to sneak around. Considering the fact that everyone is uh, screaming, there's lots of chaos and pandemonium over the fact that um, the, the guards are not being very nice about this. Um, you'll be able to get around easily enough for what it's worth. But where do you want to go? You were stuck between, was it the gates and visiting your friend the rat? Well, the gates are closed. Maybe. You've you haven't seen yet. Much. They might be open. I mean, these people got to go somewhere, somehow. Yeah. Well, I guess I have like a bird friend that could go and see which gates are open from above. Well, being a bird, so who yeah. would suspect them? I mean, so uh, going... you say that, but it's a rowdy day in town. There aren't that many birds. Point. So, we uh, open the window, make ourselves invisible, then wait for the uh, guards checking the inn to head elsewhere. Alright, you are now on so, the streets, after your successful like cunning plan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We've only got like several minutes of invisibility, so let's lag it while we still can. Yep. Yeah. 
the streets are remarkably unpleasant now that there are quite a few people that have been skewered and speared. Several houses have been set on fire to smoke people out. They are, uh... They're not taking this the way you remember Vigil's government being, uh, handling this stuff usually. Yeah, I'm definitely not. I mean, usually they don't drag people kicking and screaming. Or flay them in the streets. But hey. New government houses. means new rules, new opportunities. A whole new world has opened up for all of you. A good reminder why... We are up against this game. Yes. Because it's fucking clear. Yes. As you slip into the barred up tavern where the Rat King hides out, which looks very much abandoned in its current state. Mm. Did a good job at that on, on such a short notice. You slip near the back where the tavern keeper sees you through a crack and, and lets you sneak on in when he thinks the coast is clear. Yeah. Well, well, well. Would you look at that? What have you all been up to the last few days? <sighs> I figured people like you no first to hit the road when it came down to this. Since you got no attachment to the town and all. Uh, what is it going on exactly? Oh, I only just heard this morning. A <laughs> little messenger came running on in out of breath talking about this. So, um, turns out the king is going to recruit just about literally everyone he can from across Last Wall and is going to throw them straight at the first orc village he can come across. Uh -huh. Yeah, he ain't waiting either. It's a new training. Wait. Yep. I mean, to be fair, I'm probably sure that a lot of his higher-ups are kind of pissed that they're basically being handed a whole bunch of useless idiots who don't even want to be there, but... Well, not my problem. If anything, it just means there's new real estate I can lay my claim on when this is all over. Looking at things positively. Always wanted to be a landlord. And hey, the nobles are getting recruited too. So that means oh, there's a place for a brand new prince. He grabs his shirt and is like, yeah. And after all, with all the men usually going away, and some of the women, but mostly the men, there'll be plenty of ladies to go around. Nothing quite as easy as widows. <sighs> At this point, you notice that there's like a whole bunch of murmuring going on deeper into the space. Because you're just in like the storeroom of the inn, which has no windows. <clears throat> moving on deeper in you see the rat king discussing with which you can only assume are his lieutenants like people below him that carry out orders elsewhere um, there's quite a bit of like uncertainty as to what to do uh, let's see what was that guy called again who lived all the way out and about because he's here too with his wife yep it's Dortrit he's here he looks uh, about as grumpy as you'd expect him to be Okay, a friendly face. Mm -hmm. They seem to be discussing matters. I'm not paying much attention to you because this is very much involved in their matters. Mm. Well, ideally we would have Valentine being polite. Hmm. Well, who wants to talk nice with the people here? So... So I guess Valentine is going to butt in like, Hey, what's going on? What's going on? Certainly, you can tell that the situation's got a bit uh, belly up. And the Rat King butts in. Belly up is a very light way of putting things. From what my agents have been able to gather, 
The king is planning to make us move, as he calls it. Mm -hmm. Is there anything deeper than what we heard of him just planning to assault Org territory? He's planning to march upon Orgir. And he's planning to do so within the month. He is going to send hundreds of thousands of people to their death. Hmm. Yeah. Now, personally, I don't care much about wartime politics, but this is going to completely and utterly collapse last wall. Yeah, no. Nope. People will starve, and this will send a ripple upwards that will cause interesting results. Alright. Is, is there any information about him personally leading the, leading the tr troops? No. He is sending them off. Alright. Alright. We don't have time. Yeah. Mm. Absolutely not. In fact, we've already run out of time, given all these people have work to do. Forges to keep from burning things down, farms that need tending, cattle that needs to be constrained. Uh, <clears throat> right. I guess it's time to do some assassinating. <laughs> Seems so. Do or die, honestly. Mm. Well... Either by us or by hiring an actual, actual assassin. But, mm. The question, of course, remains how we're going to do this in any reasonable time frame. Because his mm. men are on the roads and on the waters. Mm. Do we have any teleportation options available to us? Not yet from me. And they don't believe Charlie had anything like that either. Nope. I mean, the great and magnificent Illusion Master may, but... Who knows what he's gonna do with this uh, going on. You know, I'm kinda pissed off too. I can't exactly maintain my anti-orc shield with me and being here. My wife isn't exactly liking the situation, and all my farm hands have already been taken, so don't mind me being frustrated. Indeed. I mean, his daughter's wife speaks up. I could teleport you. I've just never been there myself. Well, well, that's handy. It'd be a lot easier if one of you had been there, or... Um... So... Do you flash back to the teleporter in the Beholder's base? Yeah. I guess we could teleport there to have your relay. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. That hopefully works. It might just. <laughs> or, yeah. since the boulder hasn't shown up in a couple of days, who knows? <laughs> oh, yeah. You uh, still have the city. You know, the guy who got sent. Why did you send him off again? Throne step? Yeah, throne step to have some fun with the rest me. <laughs> so, in between. You sending off a beholder to Throne Step, and last while doing its thing, and yeah. I guess the Isle of Terror losing one of its big boys. Yeah, the political situation over here is getting real funky. <laughs> yeah, you sure are making a situation happen. Uh, well, I guess I have been to. I do happen to know some coordinates, but I heard that you basically caused the whole building to collapse. Well... I mean, uh, the teleportation device was on the ground, it should be fine, I suppose. No, 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 no. I mean, the circle that was in the mansion proper, not like in any basements or locations that wouldn't be affected by a fire. Oh, uh, yes. Well, we can always try, at the very least, and maybe wind up something useful. 
There was a second circle. Huh? The, the second circle was like just a generic teleportation circle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, to be fair, we didn't we didn't burn the place down. That was happening already. It was happening around us. We were just there, coincidentally. Yeah. Just so happens that Valentine was carrying a torch and some oil and a gasoline can. <laughs> he would never do that. He was just yeah. trying to get some fuel for his car, you know. And it was dark, so he had a torch. And he had squeaky okay, squeaky car. limbs, so he had some oil. <laughs> well, I so the options really are that I could just try to teleport you straight to Vigil, but the odds are that you will end up somewhere unpleasant, given the fact that they're apparently amassing an army there. Yeah. I could send you to the Isle of Terror, but who knows what's going on over there or if my spell will even work. Exactly, and by foot would be the worst option, I think. Or I could send you to somewhere like Caliphas, where presumably someone with some knowledge on how to get into Vigil Keep could, uh, you know, take you. But you'd have to convince them, or presumably pay them. Oh. Just go to that. <laughs> hmm. So, what's the problem with us teleporting to the ruins of the Beholder's <laughs> estate? So, our options are to send, to use the teleportation circle, which would be perfect and work all the time. Um, she hasn't been there in a while, so you'll be rolling the D100 of teleportation working. I mean, who knows what the teleport other side of that teleportation circle looks like. No, yes. Like, even on the best of times, they would imagine the Beholder would arrive face and a lot of guards. I don't imagine there would be much trust. And now? Hmm. I think I hinted a minute just how much how much spell levels this lady had in her repertoire. Yeah, I have that in my DMs because he told me. Yep. Oh, here's another thing we talked about with the Man, that was such a while ago, huh? Yeah. Can I even find it is the question. Could yeah, it's I on the... 21st of September. Yeah, that's where I am. Here we go. Here's the whole collection. Yeah. Um, Teleport Greater is on the list. Exactly. That one has no miss. I don't use that one very often, but I guess I should have one around here somewhere. Well, if you can provide me with a reliable description... Of what the ruins look like now. All right. Hmm. Go ahead. What does the place look down? Basically rendered down to its elementary components. Well, I did do some uh, looting, uh, looting then <laughs> around around there. So um, <laughs> yes, I could give some sort of ex- description of the... Unless we would want to arrive at the ruins of the library, which would have like two days of observation. Hmm. I mean, you know, there's a there's a very distinct room that you're trying to reach inside that building that you have also seen. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I guess we'll, we'll describe the room with the teleportation circle or the room with the statues and the coffin yeah. we found gabled again no. uh, uh, not three of us if i'm not correct all right kids uh she says kind of like whenever you're ready oh I'm let's fine. Gather up and join hands. Gather I guess this hands. this might as well be the time when uh, like, 